This is not the time to say, I told you so, but I told you so. You see here, this breaking news alert, the FBI says that Chinese hackers are preparing to attack U.S. infrastructure. Or have they already? FBI Director Chris Wray has announced the Chinese government-linked hackers have infiltrated U.S. critical infrastructure. China is developing the capabilities to cause significant damage to our critical infrastructure at a time and a place, by the way, of their choosing, waiting for the opportune moment to deal a devastating blow. The hacking campaign known as Vault Typhoon that they want you to believe is brand new, but it's not. Not at all. This has successfully accessed numerous American companies in telecommunications, energy, water, and other critical sectors, with 23 pipeline operators being targeted. Fold that over with what has happened recently in our news, and you have a story unlike any other. And this is the breaking news alert we're going to bring you in just one minute. What an amazing day of news we have to bring you. I think Lisa's going to be discussing what happened between Israel and Iran and how U.S. interfered. Restricted Republic shall have exclusive content today. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel here. Make sure your bell is checked to all so you're learned to upcoming broadcasts. Help me share uh, your comments. I absolutely adore them. Most importantly, though, and we need everyone for multitude of reasons to get to RestrictedRepublic.com today. Discount code RR39. I'm giving you the best deal, the $39 a year for three years. You're going to get charged $39 only each year for both of us. All our broadcasts, no matter where we publish them, no commercials, no interruptions, no sponsors, just stone cold hard facts. That's why we created Restricted Republic because everything, I want to follow the rules here and I always do. But over there, it's our own rules. So you can only imagine the news you're going to get RestrictedRepublic.com, RR39, an annual checkout. Get there today, but now let's get back to this story involving Chris Ray. Reuters here. FBI says Chinese hackers preparing to attack U.S. infrastructure out of Nashville, Tennessee. Chinese government-linked hackers have burrowed into U.S. critical infrastructure and are waiting for just the right moment to deal a devastating blow. FBI Director Chris Ray said on Thursday, is this his way of covering for doing an insufficient and inadequate job at protecting us? Well, when you leave the border wide open, it's pretty darn tough to protect us, isn't it? And just wait, because I'm going to show you, this is nothing new, by the way. People's Republic of China, state-sponsored cyber actor living off the land to evade detection. The name of this program, Volt Typhoon. Publication May of 20. 23. This is nothing new. But what have we done about it? Well, if you listen to Congress, all we do is talk Russia, 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 but yet we allow China to continue to permeate us. And now look at the news and you're going to start to question a few things. I'll get there in a moment. Here's some backup of Volt Typhoon. I'm going to make this really simple. It's actually rather complex. Volt Typhoon targets U.S. critical infrastructure with living off the land techniques. I could go in and define it all, but I think this synopsis does it the best. When one victim company set up a honeypot, essentially a trap designed to look like a legitimate part of the computer's network with decoy documents. So all your virus scans, everything goes in there, thinks it caught something, gets rid of it, but it didn't really get rid of anything. It took the hackers all of 15 minutes to steal the data all related to the control and monitoring systems while ignoring financial and business-related information, which suggests their goals were even more sinister than stealing a leg up econ economically, and nobody has done anything to stop it. They've embedded how many computers throughout the country now, just waiting to spring their trap. Take control of critical infrastructure, water, sewer, traffic, just to name a few. They've known about this. Remember, in our ports, on top of all those huge cranes, is Chinese transmitters. We've known it. What have we done about it? Huawei and all the technology they've put throughout our entire telecommunication system. What have we done about it? And they're going to act surprised. 
This Volt Typhoon has successfully gained access to numerous American companies with 23 pipeline operators targeted. The damage this could cause is catastrophic. The FBI is suddenly drumming up over it. China is developing the ab ability to physically wreak havoc on our critical infrastructure at a time of its choosing. Ray said at the 2020 Vander 2024 Vanderbilt Summit on modern conflict and emerging threats, its plan is to land blows against civilian infrastructure to try to induce panic. Oh, you thought my title was sensationalized, I bet. No, I was quoting Christopher Ray, a man who I do not respect. But now let's fold this over with what we've seen happen recently. Lisa just brought you the story of those widespread 911 outages going from South Dakota to Nebraska to Texas to Nevada. A test? An error? A system error? Or something larger, something more sinister? Alarms in order to drop anchor recorded before ship hit the bridge. That Baltimore disaster. Alaska Airlines briefly grounds flights due to technical issues. Oh, it's just a programming issue, a software issue that grounded our entire fleet. Great on its own, potentially. Folded in on top of the net massive network outage we covered for you, the AT&T massive network outage, and suddenly my radar's up. Unfortunately, our government's radar, radar is never up. It's all talking points. Where is the action? They're too busy concerning themselves with spending our hard-earned dollars on everything but protecting the homeland. FBI fears coordinated attack on U.S. homeland. Ray said it was difficult to determine the intent of the cyber prepositioning, which was aligned with China's broader intent to deter the U.S. from defending Taiwan. Oh, now that's an interesting twist. So if China was going to attack Taiwan per se, and they wanted to assure the U.S. could not get involved or was distracted, what better way to do it than wreak havoc on our critical infrastructure at a time of its choosing, per Chris Ray, to assure that we couldn't focus on supporting Taiwan. Whoa, now suddenly things make sense, or is this simply for economic disaster? If you go to China and their Chinese newspaper, Global Times, state-sponsored newspaper, Volt Typhoon false narrative of a collusion among U.S. politicians, intelligence community, and companies to cheat funding and defame China. Well, it's really tough for our Congress to do anything when they're sleeping with some of the honeypots themselves. Chinese spies. You see how deep this story gets and why we focus on China so much? So China's saying it's not us. They go deeper in a statement from China and their embassy in Washington referred to the MFA spokesman's comments. Some in the U.S., have been using origin tracing of cyber attacks as a tool to hit and frame China, claiming the U.S. to be the victim while it's the other way around, and politicizing cybersecurity issues. That was the statement from the Chinese delegation. Ray says China's operating a series of botnets, constellations of compromised personal computers and servers around the globe to conceal their malicious cyber activities. Private sector American technology and cybersecurity companies previously attributed Volt Typhoon to China, including reports by security researchers from Microsoft and Google. The only ones now who could potentially do anything about it if they chose to do anything about it, because if you hope that Ray is going to do anything about it or the FBI, well, we know the answer to that question, don't we? There he was at his speech talking about a bold and unrelenting threat to the U.S. and its critical infrastructure. New York posted an article. FBI Director Chris Ray warns Chinese hackers laying it in wait to attack U.S. infrastructure, and it is upon us now. Again, you thought the title was sensationalized, I'm sure. It wasn't. So I went on the Department of Homeland Security, looked up National Terrorism Advisory System, and currently there are no advisories. So what is anyone doing about it? Well, I know what Congress is doing about it. When they're having a summit about Chinese political warfare, here's all that they could talk about.
Today, for example, Vladimir Putin, 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 the center of which is Russia. Russia, 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 and Russian propaganda, the Russian, 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 Russia, 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 Russian, 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 Russia, and Russia. And an authoritarian regime in Russia. Russia, Russian, Russia, Russia, Russian, 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 Russian. Yeah, that clip goes on for another four minutes and 10 seconds. This hoax of Russia, this continual talking point of Russia to blame Russia for everything, to tie Trump to it, has to end. U.S. national interest and security is at stake, and all they can do is talk about Russia. My friends, this is significant and as serious as a storyline can be. We have followed Russia and China for years, and by far, China is the one we need to be concerned about and taking distinct measures to protect the United States of America and we the people. And this warning is just another major indication of that. I love you all. Until next time, Godspeed and God bless. Justice Knight, signing out.